Hey guys, so this is a bag that I designed and I made it to hold my water bottles. I can put it in my wagon for when we go to the beach, but I can also attach it to my stroller for when we go to SeaWorld. So first of all, I needed a stabilizer for this project and I used Style 76 Naked Flex Foam for this project. Um, it works perfectly. I didn't have any problems except it did not have any adhesive. So I used 805 Wonder Under to attach it to my main fabric. Now there are actually two pattern pieces that I drew out and the first one is my top piece which is the exterior fabric, the cactus fabric. And I calculated to the size of my beach wagon but it turned out perfect also for my stroller. So for this pattern piece you just need to cut out the main fabric, your exterior fabric, which in my case is the cactus fabric, and your stabilizer to fit this pattern. The interior um, inside lining is going to be a different pattern piece. So the first part is doing the exterior bag with the one pattern that I showed you guys. So first of all that's the main fabric uh, wonder under and stabilizer to fit this pattern piece. And there's my wonder under on top of my stabilizer. I flip it over and once my, my Wonder Under is between my stabilizer and my main fabric, I can go ahead and iron it on. As you can see, I just clipped it onto, but I allowed all around the area a quarter inch seam allowance so that I, when I assemble the bag, it won't be so bulky at the seams. So Wonder Under is between my main fabric and my stabilizer and I actually ran out of Wonder Under, so for my corners, I just use little tiny pieces to kind of hold it in place. And that worked out absolutely perfectly. And as you can see, there is about a quarter inch left of fabric all around, so that that would allow for my seam allowance when I assembled the bag. So once that's done, I took my marker and I went ahead and did lines, and I ended up doing diamond shapes about one and one by one inch I believe and I just stitched that with a straight stitch and this is what's going to hold the stabilizer to my main fabric even better. So once I did that you can go ahead and fold it in half and you're ready to sew the side seams and the bottom pocket seams to create your exterior bag and this is what it should look like at the end. You can see how having that seam allowance of quarter inch helps. And this is the exterior bag finally finished. And the next step is creating the interior bag. The inside bag is a little complicated, but I'll try to clarify it. This is essentially what it needs to look like, what my pattern pieces need to look like. They are cut so that they have a seam allowance in between each cut to allow for the inserts. Now this is actually two pieces of fabric. This is the pattern that I designed to allow for that half inch seam allowance. And there is two pieces of fabric here. And at the end, I just took one rectangle and I folded it in half. And that's going to be the piece. And it'll make sense when you, when you see it. So this is what it should look like. And essentially what I did was I just made the pattern piece wider because I needed to allow half inch seam allowance and that's where the inserts are going to be. So just to recap, my pattern pieces need to create a bag that fits exactly the same size as my exterior bag. And to do so, I just had to calculate that it would have half inch seam allowance on both sides to allow for the dividers to go in. So the dividers, I didn't show this one step that I need to do, but essentially it's just a five inch by 15 inch piece of fabric folded in half. And I didn't show it, but I folded it in half. I closed it and just created sort of a square. And you have to pay really a lot of attention to see it. So here I am assembling the bag. I am placing my divider about an inch below the top and I clip it into place. See, but that divider, like I said, see it's folded in half and sewn at the bottom for a nice finish at the bottom and at the top. So I go ahead and I place my divider, I sandwich it in between that seam allowance and I clip it. So here I am, one more opening, sandwich my divider inside 
and then clip all the way along to keep it in place. You can see that I drew a one inch line so that I know exactly where to fit my divider. And this is what it should look like. It should be wrong sides out, the inside should be crisp and clean, and once you sew all the way around, it should just sew up just the way the exterior bag did. So can you tell? I put it exactly at one inch below. And once you stitch all the way around, all of those openings are closed and you do the sides and the bottom, this is what it should look like. See, if it's perfectly my original pattern, I created an inside bag, but when you open it, it has pockets and dividers. Third part is making the straps. I took nine and a half inch by three inch scraps of fabric, two of them, and I went ahead, folded them right sides together, sewed across the top on the wrong side. You can go ahead and finish one end right now or leave it open and the other end will be left open. You can also do what I did, I ironed them down to make them nice and crisp and I just turned the end inwards and just top stitch to finish one end. So now putting it all together, you go ahead and you take your main exterior fabric and your lining and you're going to, in this case, they're all wrong side facing out and you're going to clip them together so that the right sides are facing together. You're going to stitch all the way along the top once you are done clipping, which I didn't show, but um, that's you leave an opening and then you turn it right side out. So that's the last step. Don't forget to add your straps though and I realized that after I had done all of this I went back in and just tucked in the straps in the areas where I wanted them to be and of course the strap placement is based on your wagon or your stroller which position works best for you but you can see that my strap is sandwiched in right there and this is once it's turned right side out you can see that it's not quite yet uh, the straps are in place and you can tell that they are going to have snaps at the end the ends are finished and the snaps will go but I will place the snaps on when it's on my wagon so I can see what the right position for the snaps is you can go ahead now and top stitch all the way around to give it some stability to this bag because it looks kind of floppy so this is with a top stitch all the way around. My straps are ready to get their snaps and it's all finished. So I didn't show putting the snaps because I placed it on my wagon to do this, but this is the finished bag. It is perfect because it has all of these dividers. All the water bottles for everybody go inside. There's no more water bottles getting lost or left behind and everybody knows where to find their water bottles. This has been a great project for us when we go to the beach, when we go to SeaWorld. Just an amazing thing and like I said, it also attaches to my stroller so it's multifunctional, not just my beach wagon. Thanks for watching.